Hi, I'm Kiara Ricketts from the South African National Biodiversity Institute, and I'll be presenting today's poster on South Africa's initiative towards an integrated biodiversity data portal. Biodiversity Advisor, developed by Sanvi, is a system that will provide integrated biodiversity information to a wide range of users. Biodiversity data, previously hosted in multiple different locations, has led to data mismanagement, duplication, outdated data, and delays in data requests. Here we have a representation of how we use different tools and the TOGAF approach to organize and transform this chaotic information into ordered and structured data. This platform has been developed by integrating Sambi's existing authoring layers through a service-orientated architecture approach. Some of these layers include the Botanical Database of Southern Africa, the Zoological Database of Southern Africa, and the Biodiversity Geographic Information System. Users will be able to interact with the platform via the website and various mobile applications. Users will have access to biodiversity data, including plant and animal species distribution data, geospatial data, ecosystem level data, books and literature, metadata and images. These data are aggregated from multiple diverse data partners across South Africa. Users will be able to navigate to different views or interfaces from the home page, depending on their needs. Available views include ecosystem and species pages, which present a summary of different ecosystems and species. Biodiversity planning pages provide access to existing spatial biodiversity planning products. And biodiversity indicators view, which hosts biodiversity monitoring data and indicators that provide a way of measuring the condition of biodiversity and progress towards biodiversity targets. This image is just a fun way of highlighting some of the many integration challenges we have experienced over the course of development, some of which are a lack of skills necessary to properly manage and or derive value from data sets, data pipeline inefficiencies causing delays, limited collaboration between data partners and Sanvi's line of business, too many disparate data sources and or silos, escalating data storage costs, and the low quality and or outdated data. Some of the outcomes and improvements that will occur with data integration are informed decisions and policy design. Users are able to discover and automatically match attributes across data sources, improved extract transformation and load of data into authoring layers, consolidation of disparate tools and data, reduced data preparation work by curating collected data for modeling and analysis. In conclusion, we hope that Biodiversity Advisor will encourage more effective management of data within Sandy, but also encourage the sharing of data by the biodiversity community to provide integrated products and services, which are needed to address complex environmental issues. That's it from us. I hope this has been informative.